Hey, Dr. Travis. So when I was 14, my mom had an emergency appendectomy. Ever since then, I've been worried that every time I get a stomach pain, my appendix is bursting. Two days ago, I had a really bad stomach pain and I freaked out. How do I know the difference between a normal stomach ache and appendicitis? And how do I know if I should go to the hospital? Thanks. And I'm here with Ashley, who has, I think, a question that all of us can relate to. How often do you find yourself with pain in this area? I, it happens randomly, you know, like sometimes it's not a common thing for me, but when it happens, then I worry. So come over here to the magic wall with me, because before we get to the appendix in particular, I want to share with you what I'm thinking about when someone comes in with abdominal pain. And I want you to think about this too. When you're experiencing abdominal pain, it's not just your appendix that you need to be worried about, right. although that is a very serious problem. Stomach, pancreas, appendix, kidneys, gallbladder, colon, so many things live in your abdomen. And for women, your pelvic <laughs> organs, ovaries, uterus, et cetera. So you have to think outside the box. So let's start with your appendix. Now, wow. do you know what the appendix does? No, and that's kind of the question too. Like, if I have to have it removed, is it an issue? Like, can I keep going without an appendix? Ask me if I know what the appendix does. Do you, do you know what the no. appendix, okay, great. We awesome. don't, we don't know good. what the appendix does. You know, there's a theory <laughs> that maybe it helps rebalance the bacteria, but you can absolutely live a healthy life without your appendix. But if you ignore pain in your appendix and you are developing appendicitis, it can become a true issue like it did with your mother. Right. And I'm gonna show you why. Let's go back over here, because I have a little okay. prop set up. One in 15 of us will get appendicitis at some point in our lives. It's more common under the age of 40. It's actually more common in men. Now, when you get abdominal pain, can mm -hmm. I walk you through what I'm thinking when it comes to appendicitis? Can I get yeah. you to just sit down here real quick? Uh -huh. If you come into the emergency department, and scoot way back here, because I want you to lay back. Okay. First thing I would do is have you get into a gown, because I want to get a good abdominal exam. And what's going through my mind is I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. You know, where, Ashley, are you hurting? Right. I would ask you when your last meal was, are you having nausea and vomiting? Has your stool changed? Are you, is your stool bloody or dark? And I'm trying right. to go through in my mind what could be going on in this vast land called your abdomen. Right. So I'm gonna have you lean back and okay. just relax. And what I'm trying to do when I do an exam is get you to relax all your muscles in your abdomen. I might even have you relax your legs just because I don't want you to tense up at all. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is, is I would ask you, you know, where are you hurting? And I would kind of very gently go in all these quadrants, making circles, finding out, does that hurt at all? And when it comes to appendicitis, a few interesting things happen. As I'm pressing, pain with appendicitis, typically, a lot of times it'll start right around what we call your umbilicus, your umbilical cord, oh, wow. okay? Your belly button. Uh -huh. But then it tends to migrate down to the right lower quadrant. There's a point here we use in medical parlance called McBurney's point. <laughs> Interesting. Your appendix tends to live there. So I would actually draw a line from the top of your hip here, draw a line, and two thirds of the way down is where McBurney's point is. So I would press here and say, does that hurt, Ashley? Mm -hmm. A little bit of pressure, but not, not too much pain. And early on in appendicitis, that may be all that you have. And I would do something else. I would see if you're tensing your abdominal muscles. Because when you have, an infection taking place like appendicitis, you do what's called guarding. It's called involuntary guarding. My stomach right now, or my abdomen, I have flexed my muscles because I'm trying to protect my appendix in there. Right. So I would press, and your belly might be rigid, because mm -hmm. you don't want me to press there because it hurts so bad. Right. Another thing we look for is rebound. If I press here and I let go, mm -hmm. if you have appendicitis, a lot of times people will jump off the table because just letting go, that reverberating effect, because pain. it's so inflamed in there, causes pain. Another worry for appendicitis, if on the way to the ER, bumps in the car oh. can That's make it worse, or jumping up and down. Anything that is causing what's called your, your perineal sac to vibrate can cause a lot of pain in that area. And then the next thing I would do is I'm evaluating all the various areas of your abdomen, thinking about what it could be. I'm also going to listen for your bowel sounds. If you have normal bowel sounds, I'm not worried as much about things like obstruction in your colon, but if you have no bowel sounds, or we call them hyperacute bowel sounds, where it, it sounds like things are having trouble going through, I start to worry about obstruction in your colon. So as I'm looking at your belly and asking you questions, I'm analyzing all these things, trying to figure out, is it serious or not serious? 